So I was welcomed, me and my daughter, to come in to be told about the what's expected in September. Okay. So I attended on the Tuesday of the 13th of June. So we all came in, uh, I, I approached the gates. I was welcomed by the members of staff, by the security. I was acknowledged, you know, straight away. So we walked through to the, to the main school. Um, I was signed in at the desk. So they acknowledged me again the second time. Walked through to the main, uh, main hall. And that's when the head teacher uh, went ahead and just gave the, the the actual meeting. Um, and everything seemed to be going fine? Yeah, everything, everything's fine. I didn't feel uncomfortable okay. at any point. Um, I sat down just like the other parents okay. and listened to the evening. So I, I was approached at that point, I was just waiting to be, to be seen by a member of staff. So a senior member of staff approached me and asked if she could speak with me in an office. Right. So I, 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 let, I spoke to my daughter I said to, her, um, to wait for me in the reception. Okay. So. I've, yeah. So did she did she ask you and your daughter to come to the office? No, she her? didn't acknowledge my daughter at all. So she just looked straight at me and said, "Excuse me, madam, can I have a word with you?" Right. Can you follow me? Okay. So I I followed her to an office. Where was your daughter at this time? I'd left her on her own at the right. reception. Okay. So I followed her into a room. As soon as we walked into the room, I removed my veil because it was just a female. Okay. And she immediately went into saying that reminded me that we were a secular school. Uh, and I'd, I said to her that I already know that as the head teacher had mentioned it in the meeting that it was a secular school mm -hmm. and that they do not accept face veil. Oh, okay. So at that point I thought she was implying that my daughter would be coming in September wearing the face veil. So I reassured her and said to her, look, you know, she will not be wearing face veil. She said, and that's when she said, no, I, I mean, for you, you're not allowed to wear face veil on premises. So she was talking about your face veil? About me, yeah. Right. That's right. Okay. And uh, then she said to me that, so obviously that shocked me at that point yeah. because I'd never heard of any policy up to then. Okay. So um, she asked me to, she said to me that basically if I wanted to um, come in for anything, and she actually specifically said to buy a uniform or, or parents meeting, I'd have to remove the veil on the site. That, that obviously shocked me and I was, I, I didn't know what to say. I said, at the first I said to her, I've never heard of no policy before. And then she said to me, she actually said to me that we have a policy. Okay. And then at that point I said to her, well, I've never heard of any policy before. Um, but then she insisted that we had a policy. Did, did you at that point ask for the school's policy? I, yeah, I did. Because my immediate response was, okay, do you have a policy? And she said, yes, we do have a policy. I see. And then I said to her, I've never heard of it. I haven't read it in any of your, your brochures or anything. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't aware. And she said to me, yeah. And then she then said, went on to say, well, then you th need to think about what you want to do. You need to think about what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, that's right. What, what, did you, what did you think she meant by, by that statement? I mean, personally, I think she meant, you know, Eva, accept this policy okay. and remove your face veil or maybe take your door elsewhere. Right, okay. That's what I mean. That's what my interpretation of I that. I see. So as I got up to leave, the office, she actually pointed to the left of the exit and asked me to exit out the back. She asked you to leave and exit out the back of the school? Yeah, that's right, that's correct. Okay. And then I, uh, obviously that shocked me and I said to her, I said to her, no, I said to her, my daughter's waiting for me at the front, I'm not going to exit out the back. She said, she actually went, went on to say, I can actually get your daughter, I'll get your daughter for you and you can leave at the, at the back. I see. And, and I refused. And, and how, how did that make you feel? That was that was traumatizing to be, you know. I felt like a criminal right. to be actually be told to leave out the back. I hadn't done anything wrong. Yeah. So, so what what did you? Well, how did you respond to that? I refused. I refused to exit out the back. Um, I said to her, "I'm going to leave the same way I came in mm -hmm. with my daughter. She's waiting for me at the front." So that's it. And so you left. Said, yeah. So I left, and I could see that I can see that she was. They were watching me. Really. That I, you know that made sure that I was leaving. Okay. okay. I decided to I would contact them okay. by email right. and arrange a meeting to speak to the head. I went in on a Friday. Uh, as I approached the gates, there was a member of uh, senior senior leadership was standing at the door okay. with, a, with a security guard that I'd okay. seen on the day. And as I approached, they immediately asked me to remove my face veil. Right. Um, at, at first, I refused and said that I'm more than happy to show my ID, my driving license photo ID, and I and I will show you my face for ID. But then obviously I'll put it back on, like I would, you know, in security places like uh, you know airports. Right. They refused. Okay. They said that no, you'd have to remove it completely if you were to come into the building. 
Okay, so what did you decide to do? So under the pressure, yeah. and I ended up taking it off because I, I wanted to, I wanted to come to, to, to find out what's the next step. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to come to a solution to sort yeah. it out because my daughter's signed in September. I needed yeah. some clarity. Yeah. Um, so I removed it. You, you removed your... Yeah, I lifted it over. You yeah, lifted, lifted it okay. over. Yeah. And then as the security guard was about to open the gate, the, mem the senior member of staff took his arm and said, stop, don't right. open it. Because what then he said to me, oh, he just sort of like looked at me and was kind of in shock. I said, what's the problem? He said, well, how do I know you're not going to put it back on again? He sa I said to him, look, I've showed my face. Mm -hmm. This is the way I take it off. And then he said, oh, well, I'm, you need to make sure you don't take it off. Put it back on again when you walk through the gates. And did he at any point explain to you the reasons why they refused to allow you to wear the face veil on Site. They were saying on the grounds of health and safety. I see, so it's just on the grounds yeah, of health and safety. Yeah, and that they had a policy in okay. place that, okay. that stopped me from entering. And so you had repeatedly asked to see the policy. That's right. How did that, how did that meeting end? Um, I mean, we didn't get anywhere, to be honest, at the end. Because I did say to him that I challenged him and said that if there is a policy, why was I not refused? Why was I not refused entry at the beginning? Exactly. When I came on the Tuesday evening, mm. I was acknowledged by the security staff, I was acknowledged by members of staff who welcomed me at the gate. Right. And even when I moved on and signed in, I was welcomed. At right. no point was I made to feel unwelcomed. Mm. So then I emailed the school back, um, further requesting the policy okay. that states that the refusal of me entering the building with my face veil. Yeah. And I also requested the details of the governors. So then I was letting them know that I wanted to make contact with them. Did yeah. the school respond to that? They didn't. No, they didn't. They they continued to say that they had a policy. They, they, they didn't actually, no, they admitted in the, the next email okay. that they didn't actually have a policy. Oh, I see. Because okay. well, it's not until I asked for the details for the governors yeah. that they admitted in an email that they didn't have a policy. After you'd requested the details of the governors from the school, the same deputy had then contacted you via email That's right. and you're saying that he admitted That's right. in that Absolutely. email yeah. so you have you know this this yeah, on record yeah. that they didn't actually have a written policy yeah. what else did he include in that email he said that we don't have a policy see. and seeing as you've taken it to the governors we are now going to forward go, go forward to the governors and ask them to back us in this and to, to make a policy how has this impacted i mean this has obviously must have impacted your child who's going to go to uh, Holland Park School in September. Right. How has this all this affected her? Yeah, she, she feels, you know, she feels traumatised about the situation. Mm. She feels excluded that she would be picked on, you know, when she does go there. Mm. She's telling me she doesn't want to go there anymore okay. because she's seen the way they've treated me. Right, I see. Well, Jazakallah khair, Sister Rashida. Oh, yeah. Inshallah, I hope that um, this has raised awareness about this issue and I hope that it does garner attention for you and that there is a speedy uh, resolution. And I pray, Inshallah, that for your daughter who's attending the school, that uh, the school does the right thing and makes her feel included and that she, you know, Inshallah, she, she, you know, she has a, you know, a pleasant experience at, at the school that she goes. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. As-salamu alaykum.